Um, now, one thing, man, that, that really drew me to you in the beginning and still today, uh, and I just see the moves you're making, man. I, I'm just in awe and inspired. And that's entrepreneurship, independence. Mm. I, I see what you're doing, and I'm big on that. I'm big on being independent. But you've taken – you're off to another level than I am right now. You know, I got one foot in corporate America still. But so you inspired me uh, to, to really, you know, get out there full-fledged. Mm -hmm. So can you take us down that road to where you said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not working for the man anymore. I'm going to mm -hmm. work for myself, but also give to the people on a broader scale. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be independent entrepreneur. You know what, man? It's crazy because, like, me growing up, like, that's all I saw my mom do. Mm. My mom, I, I remember when I was, you know, six, seven, eight, my mom owned, I mean, my mom worked for a company um, called Electro Delta. They made, they made um, voltage regulators for airplanes, right? And I remember when this, this company was going down, her and two other employees bought the company. Oh, and, wow. and from that point on, my mom was an entrepreneur, man. Like, like, like I saw that growing up, but at the same time, it didn't stick. Like, like I never saw that and say, you know what? That's how I want to move. I, I just never did. And, and it just surprised me. The thing for me that, that really stood out is, is when I got in my twenties, uh, uh, no, I was probably 18, 18, 19, man. And I had a job and it was before I joined the military. And I saw a lot of brothers that were in their thirties, forties, fifties, that were masters at their craft at this point. And I saw a very young brother, maybe 24 came in, didn't know nothing about it, came out of college. They put him in position. And he was just pretty much cracking whips, man. And I was like, I don't want to be in that position. And then not too long later, man, they start laying, laying these old schoolers off, man. And, you know, they're in their 40s, 50s, you know, where are they going to go? Been, been with the plant for 20. So I said, you know what? I don't want to be in that position. So I didn't know how my life would plan out, but I knew that I was going to have to do something at some point to not be in that, in that, in that rap, in that, in that, in that, you know, in that situation, right? Right. But the thing, the thing that changed for me, bro, was like I, I started having a desire to be an entrepreneur, to step out and do something and, and just be do my own thing. But I, I think my my at first my my motivation was wrong. I was like, you know what, I want to step out, man, and get the bag and be successful and all this stuff. And, and me having that mentality wouldn't let me tap into the things that I needed to tap in to make that kind of move, man. So I was just spinning my wheels, want to do this, want to do that. This is when things change, bro. Things change when I got put in position. When my son said, you know, my son was 11 years old, right? My son said, dad, like, I want to come live with you next year. And at the time, I, I was working corporate America, man. I had a good job, man. But the thing is, my job had me traveling three weeks out of a, a, a month. And I'm sitting there single, man. So I'm like, bro, like, I can't tell my little man he can't come stay with me. Right. And I said, you know, so I, I you know, my, my mission changed. My why changed, brother. So I was like, you know what? I said, all this stuff I've been studying for years. Because I started studying all this manifestation stuff. Manifestation stuff about 24, 25, man. I said, all this stuff I've been study, studying, I said, it's, can, it's time for me to stand on it fully. I said, I said either I win or I just, or, or, or I'm homeless after this is over, right? So I just, I just started the whole creation process, man. Like, I, I just started, I just started like, like, like taking the steps, you know, one by one, put, putting myself in position, changing my mindset, you know, and, and, and over time, brother, like, like, my, my old world started to crumble. Yeah, and I always talk about, and I don't want to get off into the whole manifestation thing, but, right. but I always talk about when, when a man see, you know, when a man is creating a new world, his old world starts to fall, fall down. Mm -hmm. Once I knew I was on the right path, man, but I, I was top salesman globally for a few years. Once I started becoming something else, that world started to crumble. And even though it looked bad, I was, I was excited because I said, you know what, this new world is coming. Even though I didn't know how it was going to look, I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I just, I just trusted the most high, man. And, and, and like, right. like, that's why I'm so passionate talking about, about God now and all because I, you know, I, you know, I, I stood on that and came out. But, but to get back on it, man, like, like I just changed my why. And, uh, and this is the thing, man. Like for the longest, I was saying, okay, I want to be an entrepreneur. What do I want to do? You know, everybody gets out here talking about, oh, I want to do Amazon shipping. I want to do that, 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 And those things are, are solid. You can make right. big money. But, but the thing that I learned, you know, just by studying, like, like the way that the most high blesses us is simply by us expanding on who we are. Mm. Like, like, like even if there isn't a career around it, I said, all I have to do, man, is be sold. 
you know, and, and, just, and, just, and just expand on soul, man. And once I started doing that, man, even, even not knowing how it was going to work, man, I, you know, once I did that and start removing myself to the silence, moving my energy, move to the silence just over and over, but then those downloads started coming. Like way, ways to make money like, like that I had no idea just begin to land in my laps there, brother. Like, like the, these opportunities, opportunities had always been there, brother. So, so wow. I, I just stepped in that, started moving in that and, uh, and trusted it. And it just panned out, man. It, it, it got to a point where all I had to do was just be myself, wake up wow. and share my life experiences. And, and, and it's crazy because like, like I remember when I first started making this move, like, like, like family members or, or close friends or, or relatives, you know, when I would tell them what I do, it was like, that don't sound right. Like, right. like, how can you still make a living? It's like, bro, it's like, it's, it's faith. Right. It's faith, it's faith and condition. So really what I had to do, man, to make a short answer, I just had to change my programming. Like, like my mental programming was set. You got to think like, like if, you know, if I, if I work for someone from, from 15 years old to, to 42 years old, it's almost like somebody going to prison for 30 years. Like, right. like I was institutionalized, man. Like, like I had no other in my mind. There was no other way to to make a living by except by going and and you know, quote unquote, punching a clock, getting a job done, even if it's a good money, and going back home. Right. Once, once I changed my truth, once I said, you know what, I can make my own money, even though I don't know how, man. Just trust the process and, and move in it, brother. Man, life just changed. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Three or four times out of the week. I, I wake up, man, and bro, I'm in awe on, on, on my life because this is what I wanted. The, you know, once my mission changed from wanting money, right. I, all I wanted was time. I said, all, all I wanted was time, man. Like, like, like 24 hours is a long time once you understand once you're doing it for yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Right. All I wanted was time. All I wanted, and this was my meditation, bro. My meditation, when I first said this is what I want to get, all I pictured in my mind was waking up in the morning and taking my son to school. Like that was my meditation, taking my son to school, uh, taking my son to school. Because I knew I knew if I was in position to do that, that I would no longer be at that other job and that I would be in a, in, in a, in a free place. And brother, it's like, it's like every morning, now, every single morning now, I get up, man, and I, and I go and get in the car waiting on my son to come out. And I'm just, I'm just thankful, brother. Because I'm saying, I, I, I say, man, there was a time where I saw this in my mind but I had no idea how to get here. And I just follow the steps, follow the process, man. And it came to be, man. So wow, for me, it was, wow. it, it was, it was uh, programming. And, and I just wanted time, bro. Time is everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you took off those training wheels, man. Uh, that, that safety net. <laughs> you you yeah. know, you trusted yourself and you followed the path, man. And I know, I know brothers listening, sisters listening, saying, well, that's easier said than done. Man, what's the alternative? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you gotta look at okay. If you keep going down the road you're going, how are you gonna be remembered? And and um, man, I tell you, man, I resonate with that. So as a kid, I'm talking about as a kid, man, I knew I wanted to leave my imprint. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know how. I, I really did. I just like I want to be remembered. I want to know yeah. people know I walked this earth. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I was young, man. I was like 12. I just knew, man, I just don't want to pass because I, I used to watch people die. And, man, people are forgotten. Like, mm -hmm. like man, I'm talking about after, after a week. Yeah. Or 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 they end up, end up selling grandma's house. So the house mm -hmm. is now gone, too. It's like, yeah. dang, man, like, grandma's forgotten. You know, it's like, dang. So I want to leave something. You know, uh, an imprint, spiritual imprint, intellectual property that my spirit is is, is in, and uh, so people remember me, man. Yeah. You know what else? Yeah. You said something, man. Like you said, you know, something that you 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 uh, resonated resonated with when you were young. This is something else that I understood when I when I was young, I, and I had to be I had to be somewhere between six years old and eight years old, wow. and I was sitting in a Sunday school class, and a Sunday school teacher was teaching. And I was looking at a picture uh, uh, on the wall and the picture was of Jesus, but that, that, that had nothing to do with my thoughts. Right. But I said, you know what, this whole thing that we're being taught and I'm six or eight years old, bro. I said, this whole thing, mission and, and salvation and, and all this stuff we've been taught. I said, I don't know what truth is. I said, but I know this is not it. And I right. said, at some point in time, it's going to be exposed to me. 
and, and that's what, and wow. I didn't, I, in my mind, I wasn't saying that's going to be my mission, but right. I said, that's what I'm going to fall in love with. Whatever, whatever that truth is, I'm telling my brother, I wasn't even 10 yet. I said, wow. whenever, I said, whenever God shows that to me, I'm going to fall in love with it. I knew that, man. And even though I went through my whole teenage years, you know, you know, uh, 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 going, you know, going to church, but I was Wednesday night. I was an usher board. I was, I was deacon. Even though I knew that, I knew at some point in time it was, it, it was gonna, there was gonna be a knock on the door saying, "Hey, it's time. It's time. It's time to start exploring something else, man." 